Hello everybody, this is Yannick Chaumet once again, and I'm going to introduce you to a brand new search engine which is geared towards image search. It's in private beta mode right now, so you'll have to uh, uh, send in your email and uh, usually within a couple of days they'll uh, invite you to join. Um, but until then, uh, I'm in and I'll show you how it works. Uh, you've read my interview and now let's uh, look at the hands-on application of TinEye. All right, uh, once you've registered and you can go to TinEye directly at TinEye.com and you'll have this interface here that we see. Um, you can do one of two things. You can either upload an image by clicking this button here and the dialog box uh, will pop open and you can just choose an image. Now make sure that your image is below one meg. If not, it'll tell you your image has to be below one meg. So go into Photoshop and resize your image, uh, save it for web and uh, you shouldn't have a problem. The other thing you can do is that if you have images online already, you can go find the URL for the, those images and you can just paste them here and then click search the web and it'll do its magic. Now, what's also great is that if you're using Firefox, you can install a Firefox plugin. Uh, what this plugin does is basically using your right click. And when you right click an image, you'll have the option, uh, for example, here, uh, you can see it here. It has even a little logo beside, and it says search image on TinEye. And you just click that, it'll open a new tab and uh, or a new browser window depending on your your preferences. And uh, the, the, the trick is done. It's that simple. Um, I'll, let's do uh, an example. I already have one of my images from iStock opened up here. Um, and I'm just going to right click on it and do search image on 10i. And as you can see, it opened up a new tab here. And we'll click on it and see what it does. So the first one up here is your image, so my image, and then it tells me that it has seven results found. And we can see that it's on fabat40.com, uh, Reiki Meetup, um, and all these other beautiful sites. You might actually find some uh, stock sites in there as well. Um, of course, it's not all the images that are on the web that are there. If you read the interview, you'll see that their image database is growing uh, tremendously. But what I find uh, very, very fascinating, just like Google, it does the search quite fast. Now, it seemed a bit long because I'm uh, in the boonies and I'm on uh, satellite internet, so I don't have super high speed, but uh, the search itself was extremely quick. So uh, I like, I like very much. And there you go. Um, so if you're a stock photographer and you're looking to build your client portfolio, uh, we can uh, dispense the traditional way of Googling our, our username and not finding much. Um, and and uh, go straight to TinEye and find your images this way. It's quick, it's easy, and you can build your client portfolio within minutes. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed this and uh, my next video tutorial uh, will be uh, another Photoshop tutorial and it will be on whitening um, eyes and teeth, the various ways of doing it. Alright, talk to you later. Bye-bye.